Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 48 of Europa Universalis for Asmala. Just looking on the loading screen here, and the Commonwealth in this game are really aggro. Look at that. They're almost into Transoxiania. Um, it's a shame that they don't like me. Because they don't like Ming either. It'd be nice if we could actually get friendly with the Commonwealth. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, that aside... Let us get back to things. In the last video, we took out some minor little nations here after Transoxiania chewed up Delhi and spat them out. We really need to start integrating IDAR. They are getting very strong and they're actually getting some liberty desire. So we want to try and put that to rest if possible. We do have some rebel factions. Um, we, we're going to want to deal with those. We are doing some coring. Now, we do have an idea group that we are working on. Uh, if I can remember which one it is. Uh, which is our uh, is it administrative ideas. Um, it's one of them. One of my idea groups. Which one is it? Diplomatic annexation cost. Um, that's not integration, though. Oh, the process of integrating the provinces significantly. Yeah, diplomatics. So if we can grab that, I mean, it will cost us some diplo. And we are behind on Diplo ideas, but if we can grab that, it'll really save us some Diplo points when trying to integrate IDAR. And uh, it needs to be done, because they are they are getting quite big. Uh, we're also losing out a little bit on some money. But we want to deal with these rebel factions first. These are the important things. Let's get these dealt with. So we've got um, Siriculam. Which is somewhere that I have no idea where it is. I don't know why I don't just search straight the way. I always spend time actually looking around the map. And then I remember that it's somewhere that I have no idea where it is. And eventually just look for it. Uh, and that is not how you spell it either. It is... Um, oh, S-R-I. All the way down there. Do we have an army anywhere close by? You're probably going to be the closest. So let's get you down there. We'll take a few little manpower knocks, but we'll we'll get it all dealt with. Now, Bamanis is getting their ass kicked by Vijaynagar. That is fine. We might just have to go, like, full-on aggressive against Bamanis and Vijaynagar and just take as much stuff down there as we can. Finally deal with it. But there's not a lot left of Bamanis these days. Vijaynagar's getting a little bit big. So we might just have to go in there after Vijaynagar. Uh, we could probably do that by declaring war. Yeah, we can bring Vijaynagar in by declaring war on um, on and uh, Andra. Andra, that's the one. Uh, let's deal with the rebels first, though. We do have a conquest thing there as well. Transoxiani is threatening our trade. That is fine. It's, it really is a shame that the Commonwealth don't like me. I'm going to try in increasing my influence with the Commonwealth, actually. Let's just go over there and start improving relations. If we can get the Commonwealth friendly, it'd be great. They could really help us in our war against Transoxiania in the future. That would be very nice. So we can invest in an idea if we want. We can get these extra income from vassals. We are a little bit behind in our Diplotech. And there is a penalty. So I'd prefer to get the tech first if possible. We're back into making positive money now uh, we've got bengali separatists in bagalpur uh, right let's have a look for that one you are all the way up there now that is a pain let's march you down here to there i'm gonna go ahead and just turn that fort on in case they happen to spawn which they may do delhi's been sieged out by peasants So because I moved this army down there, this one was this uh, rebel group was allowed to gain some traction, but this one is actually ticking down now. So we should be able to deal with all of this. Should be possible. What is our point gain like? You've only got seven coming in for Diplo, and we're actually focused on it because our ruler is crap, basically. Uh, getting the five four six in would be fantastic. Um, we need our heir to be 16 years old, 15 years old, before we can um, get rid of the Prince Regent. Although we won't need to get rid of the Prince Regent because the uh, 
the air will instantly come in into power when that happens. So that should work out for us. Okay, that's fine. Is that going to make this one go down? Uh, not really. Uh, you should be um, suppressing rebels, and apparently you are. Is that making it go down much at all? It's a little bit better, I suppose. Not a, not a huge deal. But that's fine. We will keep our eye on what's happening there. Looks like Delhi have dealt with their rebels. Okay, good. Got states that we can make. Really do just want to try and save up some, some monarch points now. That's going to be the best thing for us. We've got a lot of these rebellions getting really close to firing. Got a few more that are getting into the 80s. Uh, what have we got here? Lose some money in game 5 devastation. I guess it's going to be that one. Lose the stability or 25 prestige. I guess I'll be taking the prestige hit. So where are these two going to fire? We've got Mawat. Um, I used to know where that was, but now I've completely forgotten. So let's go and just look for it because it'll be easier. So Mawat is up there. Let's move you. We're going to stop drilling while we do this, but it's the best way to go. Speaking of drilling, how are we doing? We are almost up to regaining manpower when disbanding. Very nice, very nice. And um, what was the other one we've got? Uh, Kana, K A W N, where are we? K A W N, this one. So we need an army up there as well. So kind of got armies all over the place at the moment. Let's get you up there then. You don't have a leader, but hopefully we'll have enough men around to deal with these potential problems. Yep, they've both gone up to 90, so we really do want to get into in there as quick as possible. Just in case they do decide to try any funny rubbish. And we could just let them fire, or I could raise the autonomy, but let's keep growing. Try and get our manpower back. We will gain some more legitimacy once we um, get our new ruler. It's going to be a few years before that happens. And this one has fired. Typical the one without the leader has fired, but it is what it is. Lose some manpower, but win the battle. Got another one here. This is Thimpu. Where is Thimpu? You're all the way over there. Let's get you up here in the mountains. Ready to deal with that when it fires. So I'm going to keep Kocha around for a little while. I'll feed the few provinces to them. I don't like that Milan's down here. We need to find an easy way to get at Milan. But we want to sort of dig into Kachar and work our way down here. We will. We'll find a way of doing it. It is not impossible. And as soon as we've dealt with the majority of these rebel factions. Lose 10 prestige or national unrest for 5 years. We'll take the national unrest. This will actually speed up some of these in firing. So we can just get them get them dealt with. Get them over and done with. And then we just move down here and, and start working on, on these guys. It should be pretty straightforward. Want to try and take as much of the coast away from Vijayanagar as I can uh, and reduce their naval power and then that'll make it easier if we want to blockade them or get down here onto Ceylon, which we do of course because there's some really good trade value down there so we definitely want to go and, and jump in on that. So Mawat is probably going to fire. We have an army there. Cam is probably going to fire. We do have an army there. So you are kind of Working on all of that lot. Kind of. Sort of. We'll wait for the rest of them to pop. Or go down, one or the other. Right, this one is fired. That's fine. And Bengali separatists. That's okay as well. This is good. It's letting our manpower recover. It's letting our... Uh, money recover. It's gaining us some um, s some monarch points that we're sort of saving up. All of our coring's now done. All of our armies are back up to full strength. Could 
probably have a slightly bigger navy, but I don't think we really need to get one. Camp Separatists are at 90% now as well. So we'll see if that's going to fire. You are Alan Weber. Let's go ahead and put Alan over here. Uh, our old monarch has decided to die a little too soon. So was that the regent that died? Yes, our, our regent has actually died. Now we have a regency council. The regency council is 333. That's fine. It's better than it was. Um, trade efficiency and tax. Discipline and siege ability. We could go ahead and take that missionary strength. We do have a few places that n can be converted. Still can't get that one, even with the missionary strength and if we turn on the edict. So that makes it difficult. So I don't think we'll bother with that one. Um, aggressive expansion impact reduction. Probably don't need to bother with that now. So I think we just go for the trade efficiency and tax for a while. We're not making a huge amount of money. Especially as we're running three level three advisors, even though some of them are at a significant cost reduction. If we wanted to, for example, rival somebody else, could we? We could rival Vijayanagar. Let's go and stop rivaling the Commonwealth here, if we can. Um, cannot replace until 1665. Got another year. Truce with Vijayanagar has ended. We're going to rival Vijayanagar. And try and get out of our rivalry with the Commonwealth. And see if we can use the Commonwealth to help us fight against Transoxiania. It might work. Meanwhile, I would still like to get all of these rebellions dealt with. This one's going to pop in the next half a year. This one's going to pop in the next year, or so it claims. How are we doing on tech? Almost ready to tech up on all of these. And we still don't have the uh, institution yet. We are gaining it, though. It is, it is slowly... Slowly getting up there. This is another reason why we need to be making some money. We want to try and embrace that institution as quickly as we can. Glad I put that army there because you, they've spawned right on top of you. So, unfortunately, we do lose some manpower. That is fine. Royal marriage with Chagatai has ended. I'm tempted to not get back involved in that relationship. We do still have the alliance. Not too sure why we're improving relations with the Ottomans, but that is what it is. So, now we've got this one likely to pop. That is fine. No, I don't think I'm going to take that royal marriage. I think that's a little bit of an unnecessary risk. You are set to go home at, uh, when we're at war. That is fine. So, yeah, we will have to get these guys down there. Right, now we have another one. You've actually fired on the fort. Which is a little bit annoying, but it is defensive to us. They've got no leader, and we just march straight in with our superior morale. Of course, we will take some losses. Even Kocha coming in to help out with that one. That's fine. Now we can go ahead and turn that fort off now. Excellent. What's the next one that's going to fire... Uh, Parlac somewhere. P-A-R-L. Down there. Let's just move you up. Excellent. Okay. That's good. I think I want to try and wait until we get the techs. So we'll grab military tech and, and all of these. And then we will get ourselves down there and deal, deal with them. Um... Also, I'd like to try and rival them first, if possible. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Can we remove the Commonwealth yet? 29th of November, we'd be able to remove them. It's already August, so there isn't too long to go. Great advisor has died. Unfortunately, it's our Diplo guy. We do want to keep a high-level Diplo guy if we can. As expensive as they are. And he is trade efficiency, so let's... We are losing money now. I think we had a half-price one before. So, very unfortunate. It'll be better when we get our new king. 
Uh, we can grab some tech. So let's go and grab those. Uh, let's get the trade value. Now we can actually have new ships. I think. Not this type. Uh, the Janagar have got some separatists, which is excellent. So most of these are going down. Goa is down here. I do want to try and put an army in there if possible. So let's go ahead and grab you. Let's move you down to Goa. That'll get rid of that one. Uh, now we can take the military tech. That will give us some better cannons. So let's sort that out. Manpower levels are getting back up to where they should be. Uh, gain some innovativeness. Yep, certainly. It's going to decrease, because, you know, just because. Right, so... Oh, our, man, our professionalism is so close to getting that. Not that we're going to be disbanding anyway, but let's just get drilling. Um, Alan Weber can no longer serve us. I've just completely forgotten what number he was already. Uh, don't have any military power at the moment to get another one. So we'll have to wait there slightly. Uh, Garwall, G G A R H G A R H Garwall, you are that one up there. We don't have an army set in that one. Let's go and move you over then, because you are the next one. Oh, Upper Dobe is also likely to fire as well. Uh, let's see if we can remove the Commonwealth. It's going to cost us 100 Diplo. Do not have the required Diplo. I can't even do it yet. We're really hurting for some for some decent Diplo power right now. Now, up a Dobe, Doab. It's here it's around somewhere. It's around near Delhi. Oh, it's there. So, yeah, we definitely want to have an army over there. That's fine. Um, we can now get a new general. Um, I think this is Alan Webber III, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Alan Webber the III. It's going to be Alan Webber III, anyway. Uh, you have a 3220. Not great. There we go. Drilling has got up to the level that it needed to be. And we can probably start to move down... And uh, get ready to deal with this. Oh, so Upper Doab and Garwal, these two different places. If you can um, suppress rebels in both of those. Um, I didn't click OK. Did it actually work? Yeah, it did. So they may go down. So let's go and start moving some armies into more sensible positions. Let's go ahead and turn on some forts. Yes, I am losing money. But that's okay. And turn this one on as well. We intend to try and take a nice big bite out of Vijayanagar here if we can. Right, okay, we have enough points. So let's go and change to Vijayanagar. So we have a costly embargo. We are going to um, revoke that embargo. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean to say that they're going to stop rivaling me. Um, they probably still hate me. But they may get rid of that rivalry because we're rivaled with Transoxiania. So we'll have to see how that goes. We're going to go and embargo Vijayanagar. And I think I have enough units in place to deal with them. Now, we're not going to be attacking Vijayanagar directly either. So, let's issue an embargo there. So, yeah, we're going to be attacking Andra, and that will bring them in. So, I think that's fine. Should be able to deal with that. Do you still hate me? I'm guessing you probably do. Actually, plus 12. They're rivaled, but still like me. Enemy of enemy, different religion. If they would just stop rivaling me, that'd be great. 
I don't even know how I am a valid rival. I'm clearly too far away for them to care. The Jainagar have Separatists. I'd love for them to attack those Separatists before I try anything. If they actually attack those Separatists, that would be really good. That one's still likely to pop. Our truce with Kashmir has ended. That is fine. We don't really care about that. Do you even have an army for Jainagar? Yeah, I'm going to just try and take as much stuff from them along the coast as possible. Just really sort of isolate them. Um, obviously, we don't want to attack them directly if we did. Actually, we could. Um, because they'd only bring in Andra, so we could attack them directly and we'd get more stuff from them. Uh, but we have a Regency Council, so we can't actually start a war. So, um... Thanks, Obama. Uh, let's go ahead and just do some drilling with that army at least. Probably with this one. Um, just try and get them up while we're in the Regency Council because we can't do anything else. Uh, won't be in the Regency Council for too much longer. There's their army. They're not actually trying to engage the Separatists. They're just kind of following around, which is a little bit weird. Getting a lot of Diplo now. I know we're losing money, but I think we'll just run at that for a while. Um, yeah, Austria can have the, the access there. They're probably going to come over here and try and beat up Milan, so that's fine. So, yeah, let's... let's We're running in the negatives for a little while. Right, now they're fighting those guys. They've got a 45 stat. That's probably their entire army or somewhere close to it right now. Got a few more over here. They are trying to build their units up. Uh, Afro has gained an extra manoeuvre. Excellent. I was really hoping I could have initiated that war, but it just doesn't look like it's going to go ahead. Not until we get out of this Regency Council anyway. So we need to be 15 years old. Well, that's just a little bit disappointing. Of course, they could declare war on me, which is a possibility. He doesn't even have his first personality trait yet, so we don't know what he's going to be. He's a 546, so he's a pretty good ruler. So we'll definitely have some... Um, some monarch points coming in when that happens. Uh, the Jainagar has rivaled us. That is fine. So the question is, will the Commonwealth stop rivaling us? That would be really good. Uh, Britain harassing China. That is fine. I'm good with that. But that is probably where we're going to have to end this video. So I'm going to pause things up there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as malware. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.